Hi folks, today I'm going to talk to you about an interesting topic, um, and it's a sad topic because it deals with the death of a human being, and typically it's a spouse or a son or a daughter. In Arizona, two people can bring, or two types of people can bring, an action on behalf of the deceased. Let's assume that you are the surviving wife of a now deceased husband. You are a statutory beneficiary, just like a mother or father of that child that is now deceased can bring an action. You don't want to bring it on behalf of the estate, typically, and you don't want to do that because then everything gets thrown into a pot, including all the debt, and including maybe the medical expenses of that person that's now dead, and that you have to pay out any settlement proceeds to pay those expenses. But if you bring it on behalf of yourself and you are a statutory beneficiary, then the money doesn't go into the estate of the deceased to pay off all the bills, maybe a mortgage, maybe credit cards, maybe medical expenses, funeral expenses, things like that. So you come forward as let's let's assume hypothetically you're the wife of a deceased individual. You come forward and you are the statutory beneficiary on behalf of the other statutory beneficiaries to bring an action to collect and then if you all don't agree on a percentage of what is collected in terms of dividing up the pie, then a judge can decide that. And I'm giving you this in a nutshell to let you know that there are two different entities that can bring suit here. One are the statutory beneficiaries and one person on behalf of all of them, or to the estate. And again, you typically want to stay for, away from the estate, bringing any kind of an action, because then any settlement proceeds get dumped into this kitty, if you will, and then all the bills have to be paid out of that, and then what's left goes to the statutory beneficiaries and maybe pursuant to a will as well, too. Um, my further suggestion is that all of you end up at some point getting a will drafted, putting it in a safe place, copies to your close ones, so that in the event something happens to you, God forbid, it makes life easier for those that have survived you. I mean, it's really an important thing, and having gone through it personally with myself and my mother, it's important that a will is drafted by the person that ends up passing away at some point because it makes your life a lot easier, especially if you've been appointed the executor or the personal representative of that person. Thank you. If you have any questions or ideas for these video topics, please email me at lawyer at chuckfranklin.com. That's lawyer at chuckfranklin.com. And I'll consider your topic and maybe you'll see yourself on my video channel. For more videos or to learn more about your rights, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube page, or visit us online at chuckfranklinlaw.com.